handsome man cheho. Means handsome man. I agree. <laughs> in Kathmandu? No, no, in Lumbini. In Lumbini. You want Lumbini. Lumbini. Ah. This day. <laughs> Hey, I'm Kieran, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Nepal series. Good morning from Kathmandu. It's our first full day exploring this hectic city, so we're going to bring you along with us. But first, let's get some breakfast. So not the most authentic of Nepalese breakfast, but we've had a croissant, a chocolate Danish, Maddie has a I have cheese, cheese croissant, croissant and a vegetable puff. And a cappuccino. It looks really good. There's actually a lot of these like um, uh, pastry shops around here. So although it's not local food, it, you know, we've got a lot of them. So we're going to try it out. It costs 520 rupees which is about four pounds, so it's a pretty good price actually for what we get. So we are in the Tamil region of Kathmandu. There's loads of shops, markets, restaurants, street foods, there's everything going on here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to spend the afternoon around here. It's pretty cool and chaotic, but we've got a lot of shopping to do because we're doing the Annapurna circuit, so we're so excited for that. It's going to be one of the highlights of our trip. Why is it? Handsome Mantiho means handsome man. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Then you back. Kata ho? Kati ho. Kati ho. Ah, it's too big, yeah. A little bit big. I think too big. For me, too small. Big life decisions. Can't decide on a hat. Okay, this one please. Okay. Can you bat bar? Bal. Brother, bro. Bye. 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 Can you bat bro? Bye or die? Tan, uh, which one is nicer? Uh, it's. Um, bye, it's okay. Yeah. But um, uh, we. We say that uh, for older. You know, ah, older okay. people, older. So I'm feeling like a bit of a cold dude right now with my new hat. So yeah. First was... purchase of the day. Yeah. Even though we are shopping for tracking, we've gone completely the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> we've gone sort of summer style, but yeah, we do need to get some trekking stuff. Uh, but I think it was a reasonable price. I paid 550 rupees, and the guy was really nice. <laughs> Right guys, we've been walking around for a couple of hours now. We've not bought any stuff for tracking yet. There's a couple of shops we want to go back and buy some stuff, but we're actually not sure what to do because the original plan was that we're going to go to Pakora, rent some stuff there, like our boots, jackets, crampons, sleeping bags. But it does mean that we would have to go back on ourselves to start the track. So some people are actually recommending to do the track here but we're not planning on coming back to Kathmandu. It sounds like now we could either go to Kathmandu straight to Beshisar and do the route like that um, and then go round to Pakora. Mm. But that way we wouldn't be able to rent any stuff because we wouldn't be uh, returning to the same destination. So our option is we could go from here, Kathmandu, to Pakora, rent some stuff there, then take a bus to Beshisar, do the circuit, uh, finish the trek in Pakora so then we can return our stuff. So we just got to work out really what we want to do before yeah. we start buying or renting anything. It's very tricky because we have our backpacks. So if we buy all of the stuff, it's literally not possible for, for us to fit the stuff in our backpacks. And yeah, we don't, we're not, we don't know what we're going to do with the stuff anyways, because we are traveling through hot countries most of the time as well. So it's a little bit tricky, it's yeah. It's not like it's minus five in every country we yeah. can visit. So we have spent the last two hours in the shop looking around, but we finally finished everything. So we are getting two pairs of walking trousers, uh, thermal top, thermal bottoms, four socks, and in total we're paying 4,400 rupees. 
really good equipment, good price, and a really nice guy, so we're happy to buy it from him. Uh, thank you. So, checking clobber shop. Really nice guy. Uh, what's your name? Kesal. Kesal. Yes, yeah. my name is Kesal. If anything, I do my best. Yeah, you do thank your best. You. Yeah, we appreciate your Dan help. Danya va. Danya dab. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, four hundred, which uh, I think is a fair four, price. More than four hundred, Karen. Really the best. <laughs> yeah. Even if you try it somewhere, you know my. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like I, I get the feeling that he's uh, being genuine with us. We've been to a few shops now, and they've started high and come down, but he's straight to the a fair price, which is really nice. It's more than 400, it's 4,000 4, yeah. Yeah, more than 400. Yeah. <laughs> 4,400. 4, so if you're looking for trekking equipment, make sure to come here. Right, we've been shopping for, I don't know, five hours. At least we got something. It's like being in the bull ring. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to go get some food now as we not actually tried that much Nepalese food. We had some yeah. uh, food yesterday, but now is the real time to experience the Nepalese day, so let's go find something. I think Momo is a call in. I am someone who absolutely loves food, especially trying new food, so this puts a big smile on my face. What do we have, Maddie? Okay, so I've gone for the butter paneer curry. I can't remember what it's called, then naan, which was incredibly cooked right in front of us. Then, I don't know, I think that's like a chili, chili sauce. Then this tastes like radish. You couldn't tell me what it was, but I think it's radish. And then you go gun for the traditional Nepalese dish, which is called, what is it called? I've got the tali set. Now, this here, we've obviously got the rice in the middle. We've got the dal curry, uh, green uh, vegetables, vegetable curry. I can't remember what he called this. He said but butal or something like this. And then some, I think, radish and pickle. Now it's okay. a test on the paneer butter masala. I know this is Indian dish, but I think it's also very common in Nepal because we've seen it in every single restaurant that we go to. Um, I've tried the Indian version of this, so let's try the Nepal one. It's nice, it's really mild. Like Indian, the one, the Indian I had was really, really hot. This is like super mild. The naan, how is it? Mm, really good, really good. Good. So I'm going to take some of the vegetable curry to start. What is it? Mix in. Mmm. 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 It's really good. Mild. Um, sorry, my friend. Mix all together. Mix all together. Yeah. Yes. yeah? Mix yes, all, all together. All mixed item is very good. Okay. I don't think you're supposed to make it like that. Mix it like that together, Karen. I think mix. like when you pick up rice, just pick a bit of everything, not mix everything together. Okay, right. So, a bit of, uh, this looks like spinach to me. So yeah, I think that's spinach. A bit of spinach, a bit of vegetables, um, a bit of the, uh, I can't remember what it said, but butal or something. Correct me in the comments. Mm. Good. So I'm a bit further through now, and... I've had dal so many times. If you've followed our Sri Lankan series, you'll know that it's one of my favorite foods. It's very different here. It's quite runny. And I don't think, it, for me, it's not tasting as good. But the vegetable curry is really nice. What did you say this was again, sorry? The name of this one, but, butal? This one. So I've just been told that it's called Kerala. Kerala. Kerala, not like the South Indian place, Kerala. I must admit, it's not one of my favourite things I've ever tried. Maddie is going to try it now, so let's see what she thinks of it. Yeah, Kieran said I won't like it, so let's try it. It's okay. Yeah, a bit bitter. 
So lunch is done. It's really good. I think we're going to love the Nepalese food. It's very different to the Sri Lankan food. Um, so now we Hello. have a couple more bits to buy. So we're going to carry on shopping and hopefully we can get everything sorted for our track. Also, let's talk about the weather in Nepal. It's so nice. What are you doing? That's me sunbathing, by the way. No, it's actually not that hot. Like, it's not 30 degrees. It's still very warm. It, it's a really nice temperature. It's like not too cool and not too warm. It's really comfortable to just walk around in. Yeah, 25 degrees with the sun out. This is like perfect for me. Yeah, it's really nice. So we came into this shop yesterday and we noticed these uh, snacks. So they're from Nepal and Maddie's a big crisp lover and they're crisps. So I think she's going to give them a try. Which ones do I go for? What are the options? Which ones are better, guys? Next time I'll try. I'm more tempted to go for the spicy ones. They're both spicy. Yeah, but this one says fireball. It's got to be hotter. It's fiery hot. Are they both from Nepal? Yeah, produced Nepal. Yeah. Okay, I'm, my vote is for the fireballs. They're both vegetarian? I want to see your face. Okay, so we went for these. The guy in the shop said these are the best crisps in the pool, so let's try it. Apparently really spicy. What are they called? Fireball. Fireball. 2 p.m. snack. Spicy? Not spicy. Not spicy at all. Good? Bad? No, I don't like it. You're not keen. And these no. were 65 rupees? Okay, it's a little bit spicy after. But I don't like the taste. Well, I'm going to give them a try. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, first of all, they're not spicy. First reaction. You know what they remind me of? <clears throat> yeah, you're right, they hit you after a little bit. <clears throat> Just clear my throat down. They remind me of, um, you know those Watsits? I'm not a big crisp fan, but you get these crisps back in the UK, probably elsewhere as well. And they're like cheese crisps. They remind me of these, just like a ball, um, but with a bit of spice. Not my favorite, no. So we have made it to the Kathmandu Durbar Square and it is so chaotic. There seems to be some sort of parade going on. So people are walking through the square, celebrating it's some sort of traditional dance. It looks really cool. We don't know what they're celebrating, but they're celebrating something. Okay. Gautam Buddha was born in uh, today, yeah? In, in Kathmandu? No, no, in Lumbini. In Lumbini. He was Lumbini. Born this, ah. this day. Oh, wow. which Buddha ah. was there? What? Which, which Buddha? Buddha? Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha. Lord Buddha. Ah, very Gautam cool. Buddha. And he was born in Lumbini? Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool. Nepal. Ah, nice to meet you. cool. Nice to meet you. Namaste. Namaste. High five. High five. Namaste. High five. Ah, namaste. You're really nice. So as the little voice mentioned, today is Lord Buddha's birthday and he was born in Nepal. So that's why there is a parade and loads of things happening. It's a big celebration. But now that it's finished, we've managed to have a look around the Durba Square and it is really impressive. Like the architecture is different to what we've seen before. Sorry, it's a bit of a hurdle here. It reminds me, I might be wrong because Nepal probably has its own architecture, but it reminds me a bit like Japanese buildings. So it's different for us, it's really impressive, it's a really nice place. So Maddie stopped at the uh, cake store and said she wanted something, so she's gone for the... What is this called? I don't know, but it's like a chocolate ball. I know, it's good. What is the name of this one? Rumble. This is a rumble. So yeah, chocolate rumble, let's call it. And uh, I have gone for a mocha cake. Now, I, I wasn't going to get anything, but Maddie insisted, so I'm down for it. Is it? Very chocolatey smell. Hot. 
What is it like inside? You like it? Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. Mm. You have a little look. It's so hard to eat. It's, it's like a moose inside, is it? Or mm -hmm. you get it again? Maybe. I think you're uh, blown for words. Uh, just small is okay. Smaller. First I've tried strawberry bubble tea. Oh, it's sweet. It's like milkshake. I'm nice. Not a fan. I don't no. like milk. Too sweet. If it's too sweet for you, I think too sweet for me, but I try. You like it, you like milkshake. So it's nearly 10 o'clock, we've just finished all our shopping. I think we have all our stuff for our trekking, we'll still have to rent a few things. But we've gone for dinner now, we couldn't finish this vlog off in Kathmandu without trying Momos, so it will soon arrive. We've got the fried and steamed Momos, and you can also get it as a kotoi, which apparently is where it's fried on top and steamed at the bottom, or vice versa. So I'm gonna give the fried a try first with some like sweet sauce, I think. So good. Now, this is actually garlic and cheese. I don't think that's like a traditional one. I think normally you can get it with vegetables, chicken, and even buff. I don't know if that's short for buffalo or you can correct me on that, but I give the steam one to go. I try with a chili sauce. Mm. Also good. Now, I've eaten a lot of dumplings back home because Maddie's from Latvia and they do really good ones. I prefer the steamed, but yeah, both very good. My turn now. I don't know why I'm always trying everything second. Ladies first, okay? I like spicy, so I'll go for the chili. That's so good. Really good. It's like inside. That's inside. That's really good. Really, really good. So, first time trying Nepalese beer, and I've gone for the Gorka, so let's give it a try. Mmm, Gorka strong. It is, where does it say the percent? Six percent. Mmm, not bad. I'm not too sure what it tastes like. It's like a typ typical Asian lager, I think, but it's pretty nice, so I'd get it again. So we have made it back to our hotel in Kathmandu after exploring the city for 12 hours, going into a lot of shops and eating some delicious food. Maddie is going to show you exactly what we bought. Okay, so we have a couple of pairs of socks, hat, headband, long sleeve top from me, two hiking trousers, two pairs of warm gloves as we will need it. Then we got thermal top and bottom, one for me, one for Kieran, and two what are these called? Snoods. Two snoods, one for me and one for Kieran. We, Kieran also got the Nepalese cap and we got two bracelets each. Yeah, so in total we paid 9,800 rupees. I'll convert it to dollars in the video. But first impressions of Kathmandu are so good. Like we've both said it's one of the best cities we've been to. So exploring it, going through the streets, trying the food, all the shops, it's been such a great experience for us. But we've got plenty more to come in Nepal, so make sure you are subscribed and follow on. Free to one, namaste for now.